Hi all, and in this video I want to give you some tips how to finish your first bikepacking race uh, because last year was like really intense for me and I did like a couple of like big unsupported bikepacking races for example Badlands or Seven Serpents and I learned a lot and I want to share with you these tips so you can just avoid my mistakes and uh, of course it depends on the person and someone want to be like on the first stand on the finish line but most of you probably want to just like finish the race have a really great experience and see as much as possible from the country that you're like racing uh, so let's jump to my list what is like the most important for me and i just want to share with you my experience so you can avoid my mistakes and just be happy on your bike even if it's like really long distance race so first point on my list, it's like taking breaks and also sleep well, because that was like my big mistake from last year. And I'm like from trail running world when you have to like keep pushing because you have like time limit and you're running. So I just learned from the past that I have to go really, really fast without like taking breaks or sleep. But like cycling races are kind of different. And the good example is like from Badlands from last year that I was like, cycling consistently for like 90 hours and i slept like four hours during the race and my friend that he was on the same pace and uh almost like we met in like some points during the race he was like actually four hours faster than me on the finish line because what he did he always stopped in a specific like towns for six hours of sleep and he was like fresh every morning and had like more mental and physical power than me uh, so this is also my strategy for uh, atlas mountain race next month that i want to like cycle on a specific like hours then have a break for like five six hours for only for sleeping so i can have like a fresh mindset to keep going another day and you have to remember that because if you taking the race which is like 300 kilometers or even more this is like the best strategy and i heard that from like many people that they are like racing longer than me so remember that and have that in your mind eating and drinking consistently during the race it's like the key to finish the race and from my example i can tell you that every half hour i always have like the small bite of the snack I'm not a big fan of power gels or power bars, but just in case I have them with me and every four or six hours, I'm always like taking this like small breaks for a proper meal because you have to remember food is and water. It's like your fuel for having this extra power and that you can like keep going, keep going. Also, I know some people that they're like so stressed in the beginning of the race that they couldn't eat. But remember that sometimes you have to push yourself to have this like extra nutrition uh, because in the end you will have this power and I always saying that the, the nutrition and hydration is the key to success and believe me it's true and this is also my strategy for Atlas Mountain Race this year that I want to have like these breaks for food and I know that like some kind of sections that I won't have any kind of food at all so i will bring like some food with me and it will be probably some tortillas on sandwich it depends what i will find in uh, marrakesh but yeah you have to remember that about your fuel for your body you have to have like the knowledge about like really simple maintenance stuff on your bike and also have like the spare parts that probably are not on your list but they're really important and i will just give you the example from one race when my friend when he finished the climb up to the hill he decided to put any extra pressure on his tire and he was riding the tubeless wheel set and he broke the valve and what just happened he didn't have a spare one so he was looking for three hours for a professional bike shop in the middle of nowhere and did i think around 50 kilometers to actually go one and get one so you can see that in this like simple mistake, you can lose like kilometers and time. And actually he found one, but as you can see, he, he lost a lot. And it's also, it's like extra stress. But if you don't know what you should bring on the race, uh, the best way is like go to your bike mechanic and ask this like simple question, what you can break during this race and what is like the most important thing that you can like fix during the race. So it will save 
your uh, time during the race but also remember to ask your friends maybe somebody's like doing the long distance races and can give you the list uh, of stuff that he or she is like looking for racing uh, and it will be really helpful and also you have to remember that every person has a different mindset different issues so it's just about like experimenting but it's better to be well prepared in the beginning the next thing from my list is uh, pack wisely and i know on internet and like instagram you see like all these bikes with a lot of like bags on it and uh, it looks really beautiful but in the end you don't need like all this stuff on your bike and i remember uh, me f like two years ago because i was like on the same stage i took so much stuff with me that in the end it was like only extra kilograms I was like slower and I didn't use I think like 70% of this stuff and also the good example is like Badlands from last year that I still I thought that I have like less stuff with me and when I was on the finish line I discovered that like 50% of the stuff that I had in my bags I didn't use it at all. So what I'm doing right now, I'm like preparing this list of the stuff and I am think like even three times if exactly i need that or not because probably you don't need like two t-shirts during bikepacking race uh, because probably you won't like change your clothes uh, so you just have to like figure out what is like the most important thing for you uh, on racing and just go with your own list but remember extra stuff is extra kilograms and you using extra power this is the thing that I discovered last year after the conversation with my friend who is ultra cyclist but also personal trainer and physio and he asked me the question how often I'm on the gym and I said like none <laughs> um, but the thing is like you have to train your core because core is the key to more power and more stabilization during all these long distance races and you have to remember that you don't have to go like five times a week on a gym, uh, but it's also important to be there like once or two times a week. And you can also get the session with the personal trainer that he will explain you type of exercise that you have to work on your body because this extra like strength and core uh, give you extra power. And right now I'm like four months on the gym and I'm working on my core and I can feel the difference even if I'm doing like some running or like cycling. And I'm just like kind of curious on the next year how I will perform. But I can tell you that right now I'm like more stable on the bike and feel this extra power. So think about that uh, because it's also uh, helps you to avoid like any kind of injuries, especially like if you knew in the ultra racing. So here we go. You have like five advice from me from last year, what I learned during like all these races. And I hope this stuff will be helpful for you. But also if you can just like share with me your experience with the other people here on the channel, uh, I will appreciate that because I know every person have like the different like way of uh, ultra racing and unsupported racing. So we are just like here to share the experience and learn from each other. Uh, so that can be also really helpful and also even if I'm like let's say kind of experienced I'm still learning and I'm discovering new thing that uh, can be like also help for me during uh, like all these races so I just want to thank you for being here and if you have like any other questions just leave them in the comment section and good luck with all your races this year and uh, see you on the next adventure